Namaskar and welcome once again to What Does This Data Say? Came across this article from the Quint titled New BJP and the Modi, the unique rise of world's largest political party. These are essentially excerpts from the book which you see on your screen with written by Ajay Singh who was the press secretary to the president of India. Just take a step back and think about this. Being the largest political party in the world, who gets the benefit? Is it the members? Is it the voters? Or is it the citizens at large? I don't think you will get a straight answer. Because in real terms, there is actually no benefit for anyone except the two people running the Bharatiya Janta Party. This yet again gives them the opportunity to glorify themselves of having achieved yet another irrelevant milestone. So let me try to decipher the membership numbers of the Bharatiya Janta Party. The party does not publish its membership numbers anywhere and it's quite difficult to get this data out. In fact, at times their own leaders have made statements which contradict each other. In fact, in the Indian context, the membership of a political party is a, an extremely irrelevant metric. It has absolutely no value and as you will see further in this program, the only one single reason could be to glorify the BJP leadership. Now before I get into the numbers, I'll just spend half a minute discussing about one psychological parameter or attribute which is known as organization disorders. Now, I am reading here from Wikipedia the definition of desires. Desires are state of mind that are expressed by terms like wanting, wishing, longing or craving. A great variety of features is commonly associated with desires. They aim to change the world by representing how the world should be rather than how the world actually is. And the parameter which I am showing you here deals with the desire to be the biggest, number one in the world, the largest, best in world, highest, greatest and so on. There are hundreds of synonyms. Now many of these are, you must have noticed, are associated with the Bhartiya Janta Party. And when we talk of an organization, the CEO or the persons running the organization and the organization itself at times are interchangeable. So if you just Google on BJP's desire to be number one in the world, you will get tens of such news items. How BJP be became world's largest party, PM Modi ranks number one, make India number one, Ache Din to take time, 25 years to the world number one. Everything for the BJP has to be number one in the world, the biggest in the world, the largest in the world, the best in the world. Now, this is heading towards a huge organizational disorder within the party, which is not going to be good for them in the near future. Let's look at the largest political parties in the world. Here I am showing the top 10 in terms of millions of members. Right at top, we have the BJP at 180 million, then followed by the Chinese Communist Party, which has about half the members of BJP at 96 million, down to Democrats in the US with 47 million, then the Congress at fourth place with 45 million, thereafter the Republicans at 35 million, Justice Development Party of Turkey. This is the party of Erdogan, 11 million. AIDFK, a surprising entry at 11 million. Prosperity Party, Ethiopia, 11 million. Another surprise, Ahmadmi Party, India, 10 million. And at 10th place is Pakistan's Tehrike Insaf at 10 million. This is Imran Khan's party. Just remember that only three of them have a very structured process of intake of members. That is the Chinese Communist Party, 
and the Democrats and the Republicans. For the remaining party, the claimed membership figures are being shown. The first party I'll talk about is China's Communist Party, which was founded by two people in the year 1921 and at that time had only 50 members. This is very similar to how Atal Bihari Vajpayee and Lal Krishna Dwani started the BJP. This graph here shows how the membership grew in the Communist Party of China over a period of time from 1921 up till 2017. I know this graph is a bit faint but the fact which I want to emphasize is that the membership in the Chinese Communist Party grew gradually over a period of time. It took them almost 100 years to reach where it is today at about 96 or 97 million. There are no sudden jumps in the membership figures or spikes that you observe, which only means that taking in members into the Communist Party is a matured process, well thought out process, and it takes time to grow the membership. Joining the Communist Party is an arduous process that can take two to three years. Potential members must apply first at their local party organization initiating a multi-year process with more than 20 steps to determine their qualification. In addition, the candidates also need a party member to act as his guide or mentor. And fourthly, the universities have a specific program where such aspirants should first go and get themselves trained. Membership in the Chinese Communist Party does not come at the click of a button. Let's have a look at the Democratic Party of the United States of America, which was founded in 1826. The Democratic Party today is about 194 years old, making it the world's oldest political party. Like the Communist Party of India, the membership to the Democratic Party too starts at the local level. They have three, four different types of membership, which are paid men memberships. And then you have to renew your membership every year. I was unable to get the, the membership data of the Democratic Party. So I'm showing you some other trends within the United States. Unlike in India, party members in the United States normally do not switch their loyalties. This is further corroborated by the fact that voters rarely shift parties in the United States. A sizable chunk of the voters remain with their parties. Since members don't shift and neither do the voters shift, the growth in the party membership will happen over a period of time as the country's population keeps growing. Let's now have a look at the Bhartiya Janta Party. I'll be showing the membership graph of the world's largest party. This graph shows the number of BJP members from the year 2014 to 2019. In April 2014, there were 2 crores 90 lakh BJP members. Then there was this massive membership drive which was initiated by Modi and Shah and the members grew by 7 crores, it became 10 crores by April 2015. Thereafter, there was no membership drive and there was a slow increase and it is reported by April 2019, the, members, the number of members was 11 crores. Again, a drive has been conducted and the BJP claims the current membership is around 18 crores. Again, a jump of 7 crores. So in both the membership drives, 7 crore new members were added. Surprisingly, the membership drive of the Bhartiya Janta Party started after the election, that is after 2014 election and after the 2019 election. There are a number of ways one can join the BJP. The party calls it offline and online mode. In the online mode, you can go to the website and fill up a small form. The other is to give a missed call to a designated number and the party gets back to you to ask you further details.
Both the membership drives happened during the period when Amit Shah was the president of the Bharatiya Janata Party. Now, any such initiative, whenever it happened, it has to be attributed to the Prime Minister. So, the first person to use the Missed Call app was our Prime Minister Narendra Modi in the year 2014. Now, if you treat a missed call as a, the willingness of a member to join your party, there can be nothing more ridiculous. The misuse of such a technique can be widespread. In fact, later JP Nadda had acknowledged that the missed call approach did not work so well. And when they, the party wanted to get back to those people who had given missed calls, they found that many of those numbers never existed. The Congress was quick to criticize this scheme and claim that many of the Congress leaders also received text messages thanking them for joining the Bhartiya Janta Party. Abhishek Manu Singhvi said, if by pressing of a button you can get one crore membership in one week, you can imagine the commitment to the ideology. The BJP also faced flag when a local school in Delhi reportedly asked its teachers and students to register for the party. There are many more unconfirmed reports like this when the Karikartas had forced people to give a missed call. So you are the world's biggest political party and you have 18 crore members, but does that really matter in an election? I'll close today's episode with a little more analysis. Have a look at this table, which is the BJP's members' voting pattern in the 2014 and the 2019 general elections. The first five columns here, the data has been taken from the election commission, which is the population in that year, the total number of voters, people who voted for the BJP, and BJP's vote share. We all know that the BJP's vote share went up in 2019 by 6.3 percentage points. Now, this increase comes from the fact that 5 crores 74 lakh 16,649 new voters came up who voted for the BJP. And how many new voters were added? 6 crores. 2 lakhs and 47,000. Remember, new voters get added every five years because there are people who cross the voting age of 18 years. Typically, this is about 5 to 6 crores in a five year period. The new voter distribution follows the population distribution of our states. Therefore, about 50 or 60 percent of these voters come from states like UP. Madhya Pradesh, Rajasthan, Bihar, Uttarakhand, and Haryana. So, bulk of these people newly added vote for the BJP. Did the new membership drive of the BJP add new voters for the party? Let's check it out. The BJP had 2 crore 90 lakh members in 2014, and it claims that it had 11 crores in 2019, a jump of about 8 crores. Now, had all these 8 crore people been new voters, this should have got added to the 17 crore figure and BJP should have landed up getting about 25 crore votes. But that did not happen. What happened actually is that the people who were already voting for the BJP were forced to become members, thereby boosting the membership figure, but the voters remained the same. I am not saying that there is no voter across the country who switched sides. There were, of course, people who voted for the BJP who earlier were voting for some other party, but that figure was not more than around 1 crore. And the 1 crore which really switched sides were never a member of the Bhartiya Janta Party. So, this membership drive, which the hype which has been created, as if everyone is joining BJP, had no effect on the voting pattern or on the election results at all. An extrapolation of this analysis to the 2024 election shows that as the trend continues, BJP will have 
18 crore members in that year and the member contribution will go up from 48 to 91 percent now this only means that whoever votes for the bjp has been successfully converted into a member now by adopting this method or this strategy the bjp has put in itself in the category of some very dubious parties around the world here is a graph showing the membership as a percentage of the population of the top 10 largest political parties in the world leave aside the two u.s uh, parties the democrats and the republican these are 200 year old parties and have a very structured way of adding new members and as we saw the members do not switch side we start with bjp third by 2024 it will have 13.3 percent of the population as its members then comes the chinese communist party which is way way behind half of that of the bjp at 6.85 indian national congress has 3.3 percent of the indian population as its members but similar to the bjp is the justice and development party of turkey you know how good erdogan is ruling turkey he is one of the worst administrators that turkey could get with a very dictatorial mindset 13 percent of uh, the population of turkey are members of the justice and development party next one to have a look is prosperity party of ethiopia prosperity party of ethiopia is the amalgamation of four diverse ethnic groups and is currently struggling for survival and at last position is pakistan tehreke Saf where 5.34 percent of pakistanis are the members the parties marked here in red who show some kind of maturity in their membership process and i would tend to believe the numbers but the parties marked in blue i have my own reservation till someone proves me wrong as an indian i am proud that the world's largest party is in india and i am sure modi ji and amit shah ji would also be proud leading the world's largest party thank you for watching i'll see you again next week with some more data till then namaskar and goodbye